Hello. 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 <laughs> hey, it's Snugs Hug here. We are going to try something different, something we saw on the internet we're going to do. We, um, we love Disney, and we have, from previous trips, Magic Bands. And we are going to be having a Disney vacation again this year in the winter. And being Canadian, Disney won't send us our Magic Bands until we're down there. But we thought what we would do is we would decorate some of our magic bands now and take them down with us and have some special, unique, dedicated magic bands when we go down there. So what we've seen, and we've tried it here, is temporary tattoos. You put the temporary tattoos on the magic band. On the magic band, and then once the temporary um, tattoo is on there, you seal it up with some nail polish, the clear nail polish. So. Oh, I got some of that in my room. Okay, well, we got some. Don't worry about that. That's going to be awesome. So, we have kind of a Phineas and Ferb thing in this house. Yes. We love Phineas and Ferb. So, Tay has picked out. Ooh, <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. Put him right on there. So we don't want to put him on this side with all the dots because when you attach him around, you pop through those. So this is the part that you see. So we're just going to clean it a little bit because these have been used already. The bands have, yeah. The bands have been used from our past trips. So I'm just using a little bit of nail polish remover just to get any oils or whatever off of the band. And I've cut doof down so I can see what I'm working with. Okay, so we got them positioned where we want them. And then you wet them down. A bit of water, so either like a little wet sponge, or in this case, it's a cotton ball. Okay, he didn't stick at all. These tattoos are also like super old, so yeah, they, these ones may not even work. The Phineas and Ferb and Frozen ones we've got here, we've had for years, and the kids are much younger. But we do have some newer ones that are Mickey and Friends and the Descendants and Princesses and things like that. The newer that hopefully will uh, work. And that looks like Doof just is not sticky. Dang it. Okay, so second attempt. <laughs> We're gonna cut out a BB-8 here. So yeah, so we cut out the temporary tattoo we, we need, or want. So, uh, the easiest way to try and get it as close to the uh, edge of the actual design as possible. Okay, so again, wetting the tattoo. We don't have to worry about the magic getting wet because you can swim in them. You can wear them all the time. You can wear them in the shower. When you yeah. go to Disney, you put them on when you get there. And you mm -hmm. take them off when you leave. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not for a couple days after you get home. That's true. <laughs> okay, what am I missing here? That should be working. <sighs> oh, I forgot to you gotta take, take the, the paper? plastic off. Oh my god. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing them backwards. I knew there was something that needed to be pulled off. <laughs> okay, so let's try again. What else do we got? <laughs> what else do you want there, Taryn? So this is fabulous because the very first one that we did just to try this out, I peeled off the plastic, slapped it down, and it worked. It worked and beautifully. And since then, I haven't managed to do it properly. So <laughs> go me. One for three. <laughs> so much for practicing to get it right. As long as we do better than the mermaid basketball video, where we got one for eight. Hey! <laughs> Trim the tattoo. We'll get one right eventually. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, so trim the tattoo out to the, the size. Uh, well, it's close to the um, pattern. You can always just kind of 
Then we Feel remove the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. And even when I like afterwards, I'm like, oh, it's still on the plastic. Mm-hmm. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh that can't that can't be that can't be the problem. Yeah. Except it was. Okay. Finn's even Ferb's even giving me the right. The right <laughs> mm-hmm. I roll. <laughs> okay. Now. Cotton ball. Water. Water. Oh, Mom. Wet down the design. Mom, you could use this tiki mm. head. Okay, I want to use the tiki head. Yeah, nice. Yes. Yes, tiki head. No, that's Candace's. Whatever. Oh, this seems to be better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the plastic won't stick. Oh, Press it on there, let it dry a little bit so it adheres. Be careful not to move it around, you don't want it to smear and uh, kind of break the underlying decal. Decal. Or decal. decal. I, use I like coffee. The unveiling of the verb. There is the verb. That's awesome. His face just kind of disappears. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. That is a unique magic band. Can't find Finny's referred magic bands anywhere else. No, exactly. And what do we need to do? Remove the plastic. Remove the, the plastic. plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that we had to say Stick that. Stick it on. Whoa. Success. Looks pretty good. Just got the slice off the edge there. Did it. There we go. Yay! So let it dry for a bit. Mm-hmm. Then put some clear nail polish on it to mm-hmm. seal it in. That's awesome! Yay! We have tattooed up some of our bands. We've got. Star Wars Resistance Band. On gray, which seems to have come out really nice for colors. Uh, We put some glitter frozen ones on a purple band. One off and a frozen flower. Would have been nicer, I think, if the colors on the tattoos were a little more opaque, but whatever. Mm. We've got Phineas and Ferb on the orange. Nice. Agent P. It doesn't show up real well on the camera, unfortunately. But yeah, Agent P and one of the Agent hats on top of the Mickey head. And we've got Goofy on red. There we go. Uh, that's the practice one that we started with. That actually shows up better than like anything else. Yeah, so far yellow and gray seem to be the winners. Yeah, and I made that one. All the, the evils. And the Ordon Prep Insignia. So Descendants. Stuff. Descendants. There we go. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. So next thing is we will coat the design part in clear nail polish and let it dry just as a protective coating. Because from what I understand at this point, we could actually just remove this. I just like the tattoos, a little bit of baby oil and off it would come. So we want to cover that up so that sunscreen and stuff isn't going to take that off there too. So. Mm-hmm. There you have it. We have put our tattoos onto our magic bands and they are certainly dry because it's been some time. Uh, We are going to just use a clear nail polish over top as a sealer uh, to see if we can get these to be fairly permanent. Uh, So what I've got my magic band 
put to a size that is actually how I wear it. I know that's the size, that's where I like to wear mine. That way when we put the polish on, it will dry in that same shape instead of if you put it in flat and then you go to bend it. I mean, there's a better chance of getting like little, little cracks in it. So I think this is probably my best bet. Yeah, I've got like a whole evils kind of watch or band going on here. What's making the the colors definitely more pronounced? That's kind of nice. Mm -hmm, it pops. Just don't know how much I want to overlap. I'll get my own. So we are coated on all of them. Uh, I did these ones all the way, the whole colored part of the band is covered over. So we'll see if that seals in. We will take them for a swim later. But yeah, I kind of like it. I would totally wear this. Not even at Disney. Just normally. We got the magic band. With the temporary tattoos on it and uh, Nail, clear nail. Nail polish top coat. Yeah. So, Written a little bit of cracking. Yeah. But I think it actually seems okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Kind of a weathery sort of look. Yeah. That should be good for my Star Wars one, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll just kind of wait and see how that turns out after the mm -hmm. swim and see how it goes from there. Yeah.